Today we're going to solve problems involving synthetic division sent to us by grade 10 students from the Philippines. Synthetic division is a process that makes use of numerical coefficients in dividing polynomials in which the divisor is a binomial in the form x minus c. These are the steps in dividing polynomials using synthetic division. 1. Arrange the coefficients of the dividend in descending powers of x, placing zeros for the missing terms. The top row contains the coefficients of the dividend in descending power of x. On the leftmost separated by an inverted L shape, put the value indicator. Third, bring down the leading coefficient below the line. This will be the leading coefficient of the quotient. Multiply the number below the line to the value indicator. Place the product below the coefficient of the next term of the dividend. Add the 2 that would be the next coefficient of the quotient. Repeat step 4 until the last number below the line is obtained. Write the quotient. The quotient is 1 degree lower than the dividend. The last number in the quotient side is the remainder. Divide the following using synthetic division. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solution. Question number 1. 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 6 divide by x minus 1. Our dividend is already in descending powers and there are no missing terms. So we will go ahead and write down the coefficients 3, negative 2, 7, and negative 6. Our divisor is x minus 1. So to solve for the value indicator c, we will write equal to 0. Adding 1 to both sides, our x value here is equal to 1. So the value indicator here is 1. So this is how to set up synthetic division. The first step now is to bring down the leading coefficient 3, and that will be the leading coefficient of the answer as well. Now we need to multiply 3 by the value indicator 1, so that is 3. Next we need to add negative 2 plus 3, that's 1. And then we repeat the process. We multiply 1 by the value indicator 1, that's 1. Adding 7 and 1, that's 8. Multiplying 8 and the value indicator 1, that's 8. Adding negative 6 and 8, that's 2. The last number here is our remainder. So now we will write the answer to this problem. The quotient is always 1 degree lower than our dividend. The highest power of our dividend is 3, so that means the answer will begin with square. The first leading coefficient is 3, so we will write this 3 and then x square. The next is positive 1, so we will write plus 1x or the same thing as plus x. And then third, it's positive 8, so we have plus 8. The remainder is 2, and we will write plus 2 over the divisor x minus 1. So the answer is 3x squared plus x plus 8 plus 2 over x minus 1. Question number 2. 2x cubed plus 5x minus 7. Divide by x minus 2. Our dividend is in descending order of powers, but x squared is missing. So to set up the synthetic division, we will write down the coefficients 2 for x cubed x squared is missing, so we will write 0. We have 5, and then we have negative 7. What is our value indicator? To solve for the value indicator, we will use the divisor x minus 2, and then set it equal to 0. Adding 2 to both sides, our x value is 2. So our value indicator here is 2. So this is how you will set up the synthetic division for number 2. Step 1 is to bring down the leading coefficient 2. Then we multiply 2 by the value indicator 2, which is 4. 
Next, adding 0 and 4, that's 4. And repeat the process. We multiply 4 by the value indicator 2, that's 8. 5 plus 8, that's 13. Multiply 13 by the value indicator, that's 26. Adding negative 7 and 26, that's 19. So the remainder here is 19. Now, how do we write the answer? The highest power of our dividend is 3. So the highest power of our answer is 1 degree less, and that will be square. Our first coefficient is 2, so we will write 2x to the second power. The next coefficient is 4, so we will write plus 4x to the first, or simply 4x. Next, we have plus 13, and the remainder is 19, so we will have 19 divided by the divisor x minus 2. So this is the answer for question number 2. Number 3, 5x cubed plus 2x squared minus x divided by x minus 1. Our dividend is in descending order powers, but we have a missing term, x to the first power. So writing the coefficients, we will have 5, we have positive 2, first power is missing, so we replace that with 0, and the constant is negative 6. Our divisor is x minus 1, so the value indicator can be solved by using x minus 1 is equal to 0. Adding 1 to both sides, our x value is equal to 1. So our value indicator here is positive 1. So this is the correct setup of synthetic division for number 3. Step 1 is to bring down the first term 5. Then we multiply 5 by the value indicator 1, which is 5. Adding 2 and 5, that's 7. Now repeat the process. 7 times the value indicator, that's 7. 0 plus 7, that's 7. Then multiply 7 times the value indicator, that's also 7. Adding negative 6 and 7, that's 1. So 1 here is the remainder. So what do you think is the answer to this problem? The highest power of our dividend is 3. So the answer will be 1 less, which is 2. The first coefficient is 5, so we will have 5x to the second power. Next, we have 7, so that's 7x to the first, or 7x, and the constant is 7. The remainder is 1, so we will write 1 over the divisor x minus 1. So the answer is 5x squared plus 7x plus 7 plus 1 over x minus 1. Question number 4. 2x cubed minus x squared minus 14x plus 20 divide by x plus 3. The dividend is in descending order of powers, and there are no missing terms. So now we are ready to write down the coefficients. We have positive 2, negative 1, negative 14, and positive 20. What do you think is our value indicator? Our value indicator is negative 3 because we will have x plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtracting 3 to both sides, our x is equal to negative 3. So negative 3 is our value indicator. This is the correct setup of synthetic division for number 4. First thing is to bring down that 2. Then we multiply 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. Adding negative 1 and negative 6, that's negative 7. And repeat the process. Multiply negative 7 times negative 3, that's 21. Adding negative 14 and 21, that's positive 7. 7 times negative 3, that's negative 21. 20 plus negative 21, it's negative 1. So the remainder here is negative 1. So what do you think is the answer for number 4? The highest power of our dividend is 3, so the highest power of our answer is a 2. Beginning with the coefficient 2, we will have 2x to the second power. Next, we have negative 7, so that's minus 7x to the first power. Then we have plus 7, the constant. The remainder is negative 1, so we will write plus negative 1 over the divisor x plus 3. Or that's the same thing as minus 1 over x plus 3. 
So this is the answer for question number four. Question number five. X cubed minus two divided by X minus one. Our dividend has missing terms x squared and x to the first. The coefficient of x cubed is 1, and we're missing x squared, we're missing x to the first, and then we have the constant negative 2. What do you think is our value indicator? Our value indicator is 1, because by using x minus 1 equals 0, we add 1 to both sides, our x value is equal to 1. So our value indicator here is positive 1. So this is the correct setup of our synthetic division. Step 1 is to bring down the leading coefficient 1. We multiply 1 by the value indicator 1, that's also 1. Adding 0 plus 1, that's 1. And repeat the process. 1 times 1, we have 1. Adding 0 plus 1, that's also 1. 1 times 1, we have 1. So adding negative 2 plus 1, we have negative 1. The remainder is negative 1. So what do you think is the answer to this question? The highest power of our dividend is 3. So the answer will begin with a power of 2. The first coefficient is a 1. So we will have 1x squared or the same thing as x squared. Next, we will have plus 1x, or x. The constant is 1, so we have plus 1. And the remainder is negative 1. So we have plus negative 1 over the divisor, x minus 1. So the answer for number 5 is x squared plus x plus 1 plus negative 1 over x minus 1. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.